here is a review on the on this vitamin T4512 it is four and a half meters 1.2 tons on the front and the back will lift just over half a ton six well, probably about 600 because the thing is that the, uh, the thing on there weighs a bit as well so thing on this vitamin is the uh, filling the pipe goes in there goes in there and if I open this uh, bonnet here put that away. Huh, it's locked I'll get the key from inside so this pipe that's in here is so it's so almost flat that when you put the fill in you have to hardly you have to put it in really slow because it just won't go through there it just clicks off on this uh, on the thing Morning guys, here we are, just got to service this uh, vitamin T4512. So I've just taken the engine cover off, so it's easy to get the engine, and I've got to get underneath here to take this off here, so then connect that to drain your oil out. What you have to do is you have to screw this onto there which then releases a some sort of bung in there and then it flows down this pipe into my uh, container I've got here so yeah bit of a strange design but that's how it works so it's just flying out I'll leave it now for 20 minutes to let it drain out oil filter uh and fuel filter. The oil filter goes on here. Just got to, just taking this guard off, which is hanging down there. There's four bolts. I just left one in, so I just got to turn that and take that out. Right. I saw the old oil. Couldn't have got much more in that bucket, could I? Here's the ten forty oil. Just put a little bit of oil around the thing we'll take this this back on here have not cleaned all that off first
I'll just take the half of the Right, I've just blown this radiator out and I've blown the air filter out which is in here. It's up to oil, I'll put some oil in, change obviously change the oil, put the plate back on, just greased it all up. You see we've got grease coming out here from this nipple here. There's another nipple there, there's several around the machine, I've just done them all. So that's all ready for cleaning out the pigs uh, first thing tomorrow morning. And we've also greased up all the, the bucket. There's six on there, one there, one there, and one down in there, the same on the other side. All on the headstock, the locking pins. Obviously all of the top of the axle there. The one there obviously and then there's the ones underneath so and then they've got the ones underneath the boom here as well. How to release the bucket. It's got a hydraulic locking pin down the bottom here. Basically you have to this switch down here is when you pull it like that, you push that over there, then that locks out like that. It should do anyway. Yeah, anyway, that should lock out like that. Yeah, that's locked. And then you pull this lever here backwards, I think. There you go, and that's released the pin. And then you just simply do that. There we go. And then the locking pin. Push this the other way, forwards like that, and that will lock it. And then if you dock to this pin here back there, it's now locked. And now if I do this, it doesn't do anything. And now pull it back, opens it, pushing forwards, closes it. It's quite important to have them pipes in the right way around, otherwise if you have them the wrong way around, it goes the other way. These are the four tyres that used to be on the Vidman when we had it, but they weren't very good because this is the second Vidman we've had. The first one, um, they, they, the tyres aren't very high, high prof, um, ply rating. They are, what's it say here? This is their 10 ply rating because these are 10.0. 75 15.3 so they're not they weren't very uh we kept having punches with them so we bought a set of tires that are on there now and uh they seemed to, we haven't had any punches then we had loads of punches on the first set of tires but the problem was because they were bigger this plate here had to be had to be changed yeah these are 11.5 AE 15.3s and they are um, a lot better. They are, uh, where are we? 18 ply rain, whereas the other was only was it 10 or 12, so it's a lot better. But when we, these wheels are slightly bigger, which does mean it goes a bit faster. I think it goes about 28k now instead of about 22, 23. But we hardly use it on the road anyway, it's normally a farm machine, so it doesn't make a huge amount of difference. And this plate here, we had to change that because when the wheel comes around, when the wheel comes around here, it used to touch it, so we made this one that's not quite as not quite as deep. And we also put this on the end of the exhaust to point that up in the air, because when you're walking behind this and putting the straw off, that used to flow the fumes in your in your face. So we just all it is is tapped on there. It's not even welded, just to uh, just to point that up in the air. Yeah, just a quick walk around on what some of the things are. So this blue tap here is you can adjust the oil to the back, the speed of drop on the back on the arms where it does drop and lift. Um, it's got a PEO uh, 540, which is high, high, got a hydro pump on, which hasn't got a great deal of power. 
It's got a hitch on there. It's got a light so you can put a trailer with it. The bulb went on here, so we replaced it with one of these uh, LED ones. You've seen it. I, th I put that in early one of my videos that we changed that. And then the front has just got two normal lights up there, and then it's got one on the one on the boom, and then it's got your usual um, lights and indicators and side lights and all that on there. We've also got a uh, extra service, which in this case has been used for the bucket grab. Now this bucket grab for this machine is the best thing we ever bought. As you know, my dad passed away just over a couple of years ago and probably about four months before he died, he said, we need a bucket grab for that, that vitamin. I make clearing that muck up far more easy. And we we bought it, he, he saw it, he never actually got to use it because by the time it arrived, he wasn't, he wasn't well enough to come outside anymore. But it is, it is fantastic. I'll show you in a bit how we move the bales around with it. Because before we used to use uh, this thing over here, this this grab, which is basically you can lift uh, you can lift three bales with it, but it's the vitamin only really cope with two unless they're really dry. But yeah, yeah, that, that is a lot a lot better than this than this was. As you're already using this bucket anyway for the for the pigs. When you're mucking out you don't have to keep changing over jumping out doing the pipes and everything so just have a quick look in the cab it's not it's not a very big cab but it is nice and easy to get in and out of it is literally just one one step you straight in the cab which was again good for my dad because when he was getting a bit less mobile near the end he found it easier to get in than if you were climbing up a few steps into a teleport or anything so but yeah, in here we've got a, a joystick, which is simple up, down, tilt the bucket. And then here we've got forwards, neutral, reverse. Then here, this is high and low. If I actually turn the ignition on, you'll see, you'll see the display light up here. And you can see it's in, it's in high. If I press this button there, it goes high and low. And then forwards, neutral and reverse. Um, yeah, it's done almost, almost done a thousand hours, 935 hours. It's about two years old now, so. And, th and this one here, I've shown you already, that does the bucket, the bucket grab or whatever you've got on the extra auxiliary. This is up and down for the three point linkage on the back. That'll go down when it's not running. It's got a heater and cool air. It's not air conditioned, it's just cool air. Um, over here we've got the handbrake. And then behind the handbrake, we've got three buttons here. The rotating beacon. This is the fan, two speeds. One, two. It's got a front windscreen wiper. And then obviously the the square which looks like it's run out of water but that is literally on the side of the on the side of the wiper so it goes with it which is a good design and also there's another one here which is the one on the roof which again has got the um, the jet inbuilt into the arm so it goes with it and then also down here we've got the hazards that's the if you push it once that's the front light again it puts the back light on and that one's the the boom light and then on the side of here you've got the lights and normal indicators and hooter and down here we've got where we release the bucket it's got a cigarette lighter here and the fuses are down down there two rows of fuses it's pretty simple you've got a, a hand throttle here and you've got uh, this button here, or knob, you can turn that and uh, slow the maximum speed down. So if you put it in low gear and you want to do something, so say you want to do some rotivating or something like that, 
you can slow it down so you can have the, the speed as in the end running fast but not going fast forward so yeah well that's about it in here and then up here you've got a spirit level and the override system which works of course it does So what do I think of the Viden and my overall opinion of it? Well, we've had this this one now two years. And in those two years, the problems are... It had a problem with the, the steering when I got a bit out of sync. That was in one of my videos about a year ago. Now, that was still under warranty then, obviously, because it was less than a year old. So they took that back and sorted it out. And it had one problem with the steering pipe. Uh, it leaked a bit, so I just had to tighten that up. But apart from that, it's been... Uh, absolutely faultless and very very impressed with it i mean it does it is sort of like really for cleaning out the pigs because that's obviously why it's so compact so it'll fit in the shed but no it, do, it does other jobs as well small jobs like unloading seed corn and all that sort of thing where it's uh far easier to use in, in small small spaces i mean obviously you can take the thing off the back off and uh and use it like that i mean we have occasionally used it like with a a weight on the three-point linkage instead of that on the back because obviously it doesn't stick out the back and because it is four-wheel steer it does tend to turn around a bit but no that's that's very good so we haven't really had any any other issues with it i mean i'm, I'm very impressed with it i recommend it to someone they bought a one about a year ago but that was theirs is a later model because this is a obviously two years old they've i've done a bit of a facelift on the cab really but yeah and obviously it's got the bigger wheels on so it does go a little bit faster and it is i'm very very impressed with it i would recommend it to anyone who wanted it and obviously with the three-point linkage on the back it is a bit more because you can get ones without the three-point linkage on the back they have slightly wider tires because you can't have such wide tires on the on the machine like this because obviously it turns and then the back wheels hit where the three-point linkage is but no it's very i'm very impressed with it so yeah i hope you enjoyed my video um hopefully it'll get a few more views than my other ones because um recently my vi views have taken a bit of a bit of a nosedive so anyway that's my review on the vitamin t4512 many thanks for watching cheers bye bye